Okay, so um, carrying on with Boston, more than a feeling, the post chorus section. So we just did uh, the first phrase, yeah, which was down over that E minor. And so the last thing you did was second fret of the low E string. Then in the second bar, where there's lots of A chords written above it, A sus, A, A9, etc. Uh, the first note is an open A string. Now when you get, so you've been down in this part of the neck, yeah? And then, yeah, so you had your first finger on the second fret. <clears throat> in the next bar, you got an open A string. Now that open A string gives you a chance, yeah, when you're letting that note ring out for, what is it, um, a crotchet. Yeah? Gives you a chance, so you got, This, yeah, so you got to A, the open A string there, and it gives you a chance because it's a whole crotchet to get your hand up here to the seventh fret with your first finger. And you got this repeated, this is very typical in music, isn't it? Uh, a repeated technique to bind the ideas, yeah, you had a slide down here, one and two E and. Then you've got a slide here, yeah? So one and two and three and four and that's uh, 16th notes. The timing, again, you can see the, uh, the timing in the standard notation above, yeah? One and one and two and three and four E and, uh, yeah? But mainly, again, just go for the sound of it. So we've got open A string. Now, then I've got my first finger at the seventh fret, the D string, yeah? And when I pluck that, I'm doing this rest stroke. Yeah, let me just go back to the camera, make sure you can see this. Yeah, you can. So, when I do that rest stroke on the D string, seventh fret, my finger, plucking finger, comes, and you know, I could do it alternating, or use the same finger, it doesn't matter because it's going pretty slow, so I don't need lots of speed. So, the main point is that when I do the rest stroke, that is a plucking finger coming to rest on the string directly above, I've just plucked the A string, so when I then pluck the D string with this rest stroke, my finger comes to rest on the A string and thus stops that note. So I don't get both notes ringing out, which on a guitar you would want probably, but not, or very often, but not so often on a bass as we were saying, as I was saying, because um, because the sound is, you know, the sound, uh, the bass notes, they're so deep, they're difficult to hear anyway, so you don't want too many of them at the same time. Then you have that slide, so you pluck, D string again, and as soon as you pluck it, slide that first finger up to the seventh fret, Duh. up to the ninth fret. Yeah, you can use the dots or the markings. Yeah, and you should have dots on the side of your neck to help you. Yeah. So you brought your finger up, basically your hand up from second fret position. Bring it up to seventh fret. Do use the dots to help. Three, five, and seven. Bring it up to that one, and then you're going to slide it up to yeah, dot nine or marker nine. Let me have a look at that again. Then you bring the first finger back to the seventh fret. Pluck it. Then you've got ninth fret on the D string, which you do with a different finger. I'm doing with my pinky. Ninth fret on the A string, which I'm doing with my third finger. You could do a bar if you want, but I find it easy to do separate fingers at this point. And then you've got seventh fret of the D string again. So the only other technique bit here is this nine nine with my picking hand. I'm doing that rake thing again um, because it's easier generally, than doing, yeah, 
and doing three strokes and separate, yeah, and different finger for a different string. Also, this generally doesn't sound as good as, yeah, you don't get as much power in these three strokes. Three stroke meaning that when I pluck, my finger ends up in the air, yeah. Bassists sometimes use those, but their main stroke is the rest stroke. Yeah, and this is a rest stroke with a rake. Pluck D string, comes to rest on the A string. Pluck the A string, comes to rest on the E string. And I rake through. I do them um, in such quick succession that they just happen one after the other. And with this hand, with my fretting hand, again, I don't let them both ring out. Yeah. You can hear that, both fingers pressing down. I don't want that sound. I'm doing a very quick version of this. Okay? In other words, once I've done with that note on the D string, and I get to the note on the A string, I release the pressure with my little finger. And then I've got, have I? Then I've got the seventh fret. Yeah. Seventh fret of the D string again. So. Good to break these phrases down and do them one at a time because the technique involved in doing each phrase is is the technique of bass playing, and so you'll then be able to apply that technique to any any line that you do. Yeah. So rather than try and um, get through the whole line because you like the song, you know, the whole of the Boston bass line. Sometimes, at least. It really, it, it do, do do this thing of just doing it one bar at a time or one phrase at a time, yeah? You know, a musical phrase, what makes sense? Yeah, if it, if it carries on over two bars, do that. But take it one phrase at a time and really see if you're playing it so that you're getting the sound you want, yeah? Because that's the point of technique, so that you can get the sound that you want. Um, now, these slides... If for some reason you had difficulty with them, um, I think I was. No, I found a. I can't remember the time of that now. But if you wanted to, you could do a hammer on. If for some reason the slides were giving you problems, you could do a hammer on. You know, nobody's gonna. <laughs> Nobody's going to mind. <clears throat> but if you can, try and do the slides, yeah? Because uh, it's, 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 that's what you hear, but it's not so much in this case. It doesn't really matter. It's more that it's a technique thing. Get the slide, because that's important. That's as important as a hammer-on. And um, we'll practice hammer-ons in another piece, yeah? So that was the bar where you had A sus4, A, A9, and then A, yeah? So that was that phrase. So let's leave this video here.